Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Liv, and I am going to be doing a reading five star books video. That was a really crap intro. Hi, I'm Liv, and I'm going to be reading the many books it takes to find a five star. I've never done this video before, but I love watching them. So basically, I'm just going to take you through basically this month, which is just the month of January, and see how long it takes me to find a five star read. And that's when the video will end. This video could literally be five minutes long, two minutes long, or like five hours long. <laughs> but I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Right now I am partway through two books. Both of them I feel like could be a five star, so I'm very much hoping they are. And the first one is Iron Flame. I'm about 100 pages into that so far and I am loving it. Fourth Wing I gave a five star, so I've got very... I've got a good feeling about this book so far. I'm very much enjoying it and there's a potential for it to be a five star. I am also at the same time reading As Good As Dead, which is the final instalment of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And the other two books I gave five stars. So again, I am hoping it's gonna be a five star and be as good as the other two. Right now, it is amazing. I'm 225 pages, oh, 229 pages into this book. So 40%, give or take a few. And it is phenomenal, honestly amazing i absolutely adore it and i'm so hooked as of right now i do feel like it's on the track to be a five star i think ultimately it's gonna come down to who the person is that is the dt killer like it actually comes down to that like revealing who the person is because that that's always what sways it if it's gonna be a five star or not with the good girl guide to murder books as of right now that i'm really hooked i'm really into it and i'm very much gripped so I do think it's going to be a five star as of this second, but obviously we can change, like everything could change literally based on who it is and how we find out. As of right now, I think I know who it is. And if it is that person, I'm not going to be mad. If it's the other person, again, I'm not going to be mad, but if it's someone else, unless it's got a big story behind it, then I'm not going to be that happy. But I've got two people I think it's going to be. We're definitely being swayed to think it's these two people though as well, the way that holly has written this book iron flame is really good i feel like we're getting loads more of information of the relationship between zayden and violet it's a little bit slower than fourth wing but i'm okay with that because the rules are slightly different the stakes are higher so i'm okay with the pacing right now it definitely could be a five star as of right now it's on the way to be a five star whereas as good as dead i feel like is a five star right now Obviously everything can change and if it does, that's cool. I've got loads of books that I can read. Like I've literally got so many books on my shelves that I'm excited to read. I need to do a book video about, I don't know why I say a book video, but literally everything I film is books videos on here. <laughs> I used to do a video talking about my physical TBR because I have so many books on my physical TBR and I also want to do like a Kindle TBR. So I'd love to speak about that and like things that I'm hoping to read and intending to read. That's an idea. I've got so many books I'd like to read. Like I've got things like Five Survive I think could be good. Dead Romantics, Archer's Voice. People buy on about that all the time. Wildfire, I've got loads of books. Um, I've got the Caravel series that I've recently got. Once My Love and Heart. I do want to do a video on the Caravel series by the way. I will update you when I have finished a book and we will see if it is a five star or not. I am thinking as good as Dead will be and I'm not sure about Iron Flame simply because the other reviews have kind of given me that oh it might not live up to the hype kind of thing. Oh my god, I just finished this book and this video is over now because that was a five star. <laughs> I need to talk about this book. I need to talk about this That book was brilliant. I didn't expect any of that. I didn't expect the time jump at the end, that the amount of time that took, I did not expect that and it hurt me. And the last page actually broke me in a good way, like a, oh, finally. That was a really good end to a series, honestly. I don't think, I don't think that could have been done in a better way. That was a really good end to a series and that was so detailed. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time and so different to anything I've ever 
well, it was so different to all the other books in the series, as I was trying to say. The first one, it was kind of timid, in my opinion. Like, it was, it was there. I loved the story and I loved how interactive it was. The second one was more interactive with loads of different like pictures and stuff and um, visual aids. Second one also was so different to the first one and I loved the links with like previous cases. And then this one, it had links with previous cases, old um, characters came back to be like the forefront of this book. Uh, we saw more of Pip and Ravi's relationship and that was beautiful their relationship i i love them it was more more risks and more higher stakes and you were constantly thinking what the hell is gonna happen honestly loved that book and that was a five star for me you know i did this video thinking this is gonna take like a month to get all these these books read and get to a five star finally picked as good as dead to be my first book and it's a five star so <laughs> I just, I didn't expect that. It happened. Really would recommend the Good Girls Guide to Murder series. I love Holly Jackson's writing style. Like, I honestly just adore it. It was honestly a phenomenal book. And I was welling up.